Chairman Bond. <coughs> yesterday, you to the prosecutor from New York. You had to raise a lot of concerns about the prosecutor. But what about the actual allegations here that the former president may have falsified business records to cover for hush money payments to cover up his alleged affair with and dump the Do you have any concerns about that? Look, the thing I think about. Um, it was interesting. Someone, someone briefed me on um, the use of money, a situation like this before. And you probably covered this. Remember when the DNC and Hillary Clinton paid the law firm a million dollars but it, and, and said that it was for something else, and we found out later it wasn't. It was all about the Russia collusion. It wasn't for legal part. And so they went through, and they got investigated. A million dollars they spent. And you know what? At the end of the day, they didn't get prosecuted. They got fined. Hillary's campaign got fined $8,000, and um, the DNC got fined $100,000. Even though they used a million dollars, they knowingly hid the fact of what they were doing to try to hide. Um, they got investigated. So I look at it from this perspective. We live in America, and it should be equal justice. Um, this was personal money. This wasn't trying to hide. This was seven years ago, statute of limitation. And I think in your heart of hearts, you know, too, that you think this is just political. And I think that's what the rest of the country thinks, and we're kind of tired of that. I mean, we're sitting up here just going through an issue conference. We just brought up three major bills that we've worked all of our time. We've strived to get these bills created. We worked really hard to get to the majority, telling the American public that this is what we're doing. This is what we're going through, and this is what we're explaining to you. I know you've asked me this question a couple times all during this issue conference, and then you'll come back and it, it dominates the conference. No, we're not talking about this in our conference. You're just asking about it. So it only dominates your asking. But um, we're excited about doing something to make sure we're not dependent on China. We're very excited about making sure children and parents have a say in their kids' education. And we're excited about making America energy independent, lowering the price of gasoline for everyone, sustaining a geopolitical world that's actually safer, and actually bringing down inflation. So those are the things I focus mainly on. But I do get concerned when I look out there and I see justice not being equal to others, especially in the history of where we are. And the tough part is with, with a local DA, when Kevin McCarthy was running for speaker, I wasn't on board, but now I see why Trump endorsed him. And I'm going to finish with this. One, very impressive McCarthy. I love it. Two, he would do better as a president than DeSantis. I've seen how DeSantis has been acting.